Simulan ang ating araw sa pagninilay ng salita ng Diyos upang maging gabay sa ating pamumuhay. Dito sa Daylight Devotion. Magandang umaga mga kapatid! Ito po ang Daylight Devotion na sumasahim papawid sa Light TV Radio at napapakinggan din sa DWZB 91.1 FM sa Palawan at DZJV 1458 Radio Calabar Zone. Kasabay din po tayong napapanood sa atin pong Facebook Live sa Light TV God's Channel of Blessings Facebook page. Ako po si uh, Pastor Chesley B. Ingwasan from the Wesleyan Church. Ang ating pong devotion ngayong umaga ay pinag- magatang kong a dialogue with a friend. Totoo po itong nangyari sa aking buhay during uh, one of the mission trips sa Laos na nangyari nung taong 2018. Naniniwala po ako, kapatid, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, na yung sinasabi po sa English na discussion and open dialogue are wonderful ways in order for us to understand people about their philosophies and about their personal understanding regarding things. And so, this became so evident to me uh, during that time of 2018 when we visited one of their capital place and uh, nagstay po kami sa isang inn uh, during that time i met a swedish backpacker uh, who went there for three months na na backpacking travel this idea is so new to me nakakapanibago po sa akin yon Because of these three months na gagawin niyang pag-travel uh, with all the expenses, iniisip ko yung expenses, yung tutuluyan niya, kakainin niya, medyo nanibago po ako doon. So I ask for more details. Nung nag-uusap po kami, nagkukwentuhan kami, shiner niya po yung itinerary niya, shiner niya po kung paano siya pinaghandaan yung mga to, pinaghandaan yung trip na to. And so uh, according to her, she worked nine months and uh, eto nga yung remaining three months was allotted for travel sa Southeast Asia. And so, as we had our conversation, our discussion, our dialogue, napaisip po ako, mga kaibigan, um, and I asked her one question. Sabi ko po sa kanya, So, how do you consider the, their belief and their religion in this country? And particularly sa Southeast Asia po country where Buddhists are dominant. Honestly, she told me about her belief in religion and, and, and uh, I was surprised. Sabi po niya na she was going to the church before but then as she grew physically and, and, and uh, nawala na po ang idea ng church sa kanya and so... Now, sabi niya, I believe more on evolution, naturalism, and the idea of this scientific fact na nangyayari po sa mundo natin. That's her story and, and so, as we had our conversation, she honestly asked me back about what I believe, what I follow, and what are my thoughts regarding religion. And so, I happily shared to her these four things na share ko po sa inyo ngayong umagang ito. And ito po yung mga yun. The question about the beginning. Yan po yung unang sinabi ko sa kanya. How does your worldview explains the beginning of humanity? The question about purpose. How is meaning described within your worldview? The question about right and wrong or the question about morality, you know? Mo- what are the moral basis of our worldview or your worldview? And the question number four is the question about life after death. What is the future of your worldview or your belief? For the first question na, na shinero ko po, this question is really puzzling. 
It puzzles mankind for centuries. Sometimes they ask questions, how did we came here? How did we get here? Where did we came from? And how did life came to be? Ito po yung mga question na umiikot-ikot sa mga tao even before till now. For Christianity, sa ating pong mga Christian, the action and the process by which life came about, mga ganito pong mga base, mga tinatanong nila, the length of years of process, exact biological function that brought, brought this complex human life form. These are not really the first question or the essential question, but they belong more to the less important question. Ano po bang sinasabi ko? Because we understand that the most important question when we ask about the beginning, we always point to that first cause, to that creator, to that architect of this universe. And that architect, that first cause, is the necessary first cause who built, who crafted this universe into existence. Yun po yung sinabi ko sa kanya. And we can best understand about this first cause when we go back to the Bible. Nakikita po natin yun, especially sa first book ng Bible. For this is simply answered as God made all living things. Makikita po natin doon, yung very clear na sinabi niya yun, the creation of life is an intentional act. Talagang na plano po yun. Ano, pag-create ng buhay, hindi lang po yan basta-basta na biglang sumapog. May plano po yan. And the Bible values all life. In Genesis, God declares life to be good. Kikita po natin sa Genesis chapter 1 verse verses 12, 21 and 25. For the book of Genesis, it described the intentional act of God in creating the possibility of all kind of life here on earth and in water and in air. So hindi lang po mga tao ang intentionally created sa Genesis, but even yung mga alaga po nating pets, katulad nung narinig yung tumatahol-tahol, and katulad po nung mga tumitilaok pag umaga, and, and, and all kind of life on earth were intentionally made. Makikita po natin yan sa Genesis. So we always point out to that first cause, and that first cause, when you ask the beginning of life, is none other than God alone. Number two is the question about the purpose. Ano po ba ang rason ng buhay? The question of purpose for Christianity uh, is simply that we are children of a loving chemist, artist, engineer, designer of life. At tinatawag po natin siyang the Father or Father God. He gave this purpose in life ano, sa ating mga buhay. Since we believe that He is a loving God, then this loving God created life with meaning and reason. Ano? May meaning and reason kung bakit nandito tayo. Because we have the loving God. One purpose of life points in relationship with the Creator. And yun naman po yung nakikita natin. That this Creator, this loving Father, wants to have a relationship sa atin, sa ating mga tao. Sa 1 John 5, to 15 it says, And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. Sabi po ni Thomas Aquinas, isang magaling na tao, during the early days, said that because we can see purpose in the world, it must have some source. A bigger purpose maker, the maker of or provider of purpose. This conclude it uh, th then concluded it by saying that therefore that God exists. He's saying that since an intelligent creator existed, may nabuhay po na magaling na nagcreate, then the creations 
Yung mga ginawa po niya and tayo po yun, has and must have a purpose. The question number three is the question about right and wrong or yung morality po na sinasabi natin. Who has the perfect moral code? Meron po bang nakita? Which one should we follow if there is a perfect moral code? What does it look like when we put it into practical action or practical application? Does the atheist represent it better? Yung mga hindi po ba naniniwala sa Panginoon? Sila ba yung nagre-represent ng moral code na mas maganda? Sina Nietzsche? Uh, dinidescribe niya ba ng mali- malinaw? Uh, yung mga Nazi German, do they successfully apply it? And do they produce successful product? Uh, if we go back to our history, did uh, Stalin in Russia produce a good life for all his people? As part of the history, alam, alam, alam naman natin, is communism the perfect face of moral code? Sila po ba yung mga susundan natin? Ito po bang mga ginawa ng taong to ang susundan natin? May kilala po ako na I know of a moral code simplified in this loving truth. And yun nga po yung sabi niya sa Matthew 22 verse 37 to 40, which means love God and love people. God is the only one who demonstrates His love for us. But while we were still sinners, He died for us. Sa Romans 5, 8 po. Ito pong question ng right and wrong uh, lies in the person of Jesus Christ alone. He is the moral giver. He is the perfect moral giver. And so, He is the standard of morality. His teaching provides for the perfection of morality. For us to know the right and wrong, we should go to Jesus Christ. We should have a relationship with Him. He is the perfect model for humble service to others that produce peace, prosperity, and prosperity when practiced in truth. According kay Bonhoeffer, ito pong sanabi niya, uh, nung when Bonhoeffer described in his ethics that church is the responsible community, tayo pong mga simbahan, the member of the body of Christ, is the responsible community, and the mandate of the church is to proclaim the reality of God revealed in Jesus Christ. Sabi po niya, you should reflect it. Be the salt and light. Tell the story of Jesus. Yun po yung sinabi niya. And the number four question sa ating pong devotion ngayon is the question about life after death. What future do we have after our life here on earth? Pag-isipan nyo na po ba kung anong mangyayari sa atin pagkatapos ng buhay natin dito sa mundong ito? Pag-isipan nyo na po ba kung ano ang ilang taon pa tayong mabuhay? Yun naman po ang iniisip ngayon ng mga senior, ano? Uh, or, or yung mga tinaningan na ng buhay. Ano nang buhay ko? pagkatapos ng buhay na to. Ito po yung isa sa mga question na tinatanong mga kaibigan. Ito po yung isa sa mga uh, essential na question na tinatanong, tinatanong nila. After all our years have gone, what's next? Ano po ang susunod? Yun po ang sinasabi nila. But Jesus Christ provides the only way. Yun po ang may sabi ko. And He is the perfect way. He is the only way and the perfect way. The source of truth. And gives the good life after this life. Si siya lang po ang makapagbibigay ng magandang buhay pagkatapos ng buhay natin ito. Kung inyo pong na, if you still remember, about that sinner sa tabi ng Panginoon na remember me, my Lord, when thou art in paradise. Yun po ay totoong nangyari sa taong yan. Ano? And He provides a life better than this life we have on earth. Yun po yung promise na biminibigay niya. At matatagpon po natin niya sa John chapter 14, verse 6. Nung sabi niya na ako lang ang daan, ako lang ang totoo. I am the way, the truth, 
and the life pati po buhay na, kinakam, na, na pinapangarap natin ay matatagpuan lang po natin sa Panginoong Jesus. Siya lang po ang, ang nagbibigay ng magandang buhay pagkatapos po ng buhay natin dito sa mundong ito. Why He alone provides life after death? Bakit siya lang? Ano? Bakit hindi yung mga ibang tao? Bakit lang si Kristo? Siguro po, ganun yung tinatanong natin. Mga kaibigan, I think we can all agree that He alone, because He alone conquers death. And let me repeat that, He alone conquers death. And He resurrected in life again. And that's to show that He knows what's life all about. And kung ano po ang, ang mas magandang buhay. Ang buhay ba dito sa mundong ito? O ang buhay na, na pinurvide niya, ibibigay niya sa lahat ng mananampalataya at susunod po sa kanya. Ito po yung apat na question na shiner ko sa backpacker na to. And uh, ino po, after our short talk na yun, papaalis na rin po siya. Kinuha niya rin yung mga bag niya. And uh, nag-antay lang actually siya sa reception area para kukunin yung deposit niya. Nung nag-usap kami, nung napag-usapan namin ito, And I noticed how she let go of her defense. Nung shinare ko po yung apat na question na ito, apat na tinatanong ng mga taong ito, I, I noticed how she immediately let her go of her defense. And uh, honestly, you know, may, may culture po sila na don't talk to strangers or don't share your information to strangers. After do- that talk, I noticed how she let down of her defense and told me her full name without even me asking it. Sabi po niya, by the way, you didn't ask my name. My name is Elizabeth. And uh, after that, she told me that uh, you're a good man. You're a good man. We part ways, I prayed for her, uh, we part ways, and I can see how satisfying that conversation po na nangyari sa amin nung nangyari po yun. Um, I just pray na may she consider going back on the track that she once left. Uh, that she will go back to her faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and uh, accept this gift na binigay po na ni Kristo ni ng Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin yung relationship sa Panginoong ito. Um, muli po, ako po si Pastor Jesse Ingosan from the Wesleyan Church and uh, pwede ko po ba kayong anyanyahan sa short prayer po let's pray thank you Lord God for uh, this devotion Lord we had a lot of questions we had a lot of dialogues discussions we want to talk Lord but Lord we forget to ask the important questions We forget to ask you, Lord God, as, as, as the giver and provider of life and, and as, as our Lord in our life, Lord God. Lord, ikaw po sana ang mangusap sa bawat isa sa amin and may just continue to talk to us, guide us, and have a dialogue with us every day, every moment of our life. Hindi ko po kilala ang lahat ng nakikinig dito, Lord, pero kilala mo po sila, and naniniwala po ako na minamahal mo ang bawat isa sa amin, that you are just waiting for each one of us. Lord, 
prepare our hearts and mind, soften it, Lord, and may you just continue to guide us our way and help us, Lord God, to recognize you and accept you in our life as our Lord and Savior. Kung meron po, po Lord, dito na gustong magkaroon ng relationship sa inyo, may you just continue to uh, talk to them and may you just continue to help them, Lord God, on how they can have and how they can start to have a relationship with you, Lord. And uh, help them, Lord God. We are sinners. But thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your forgiveness. And thank you for dying on the cross for all our sins. Forgive us, Lord. And may you just continue to be with us. Uh, thank you. And may you just continue to bless this program. Bless bless this, this um, company, Lord. And all the stuffs behind. We commit everything in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you.
Simulan ang ating araw sa pagninilay ng salita ng Diyos upang maging gabay sa ating pamumuhay dito sa Daylight Devotions.